I feel very excluded. Like I'm not a part of the big human race. You don't see a young female in a wheelchair that often. So I try to look at it like they just think it's abnormal. But yes, people look a lot. It makes me feel um, different, but I'm not different. I'm just sitting down. It's, it's just how I get around. It's not who I am, but I think people don't, don't get that. My view on disability changed a lot after the, the accident. I was like, why haven't I never thought about this? I don't think normal people think about it that much. I can be honest and say I didn't do it before the accident. I didn't, but now I'm, I'm like, I'm one of them. I would say the only thing that's bugging me is when I want to go out and I just want to go wherever I want and I know that's not possible everywhere. I feel like accessibility in Denmark is not good enough. Um, I think there should be ramps everywhere, every store. And if you build something, build an elevator, it's, it should be seen as normal to do that instead of not doing it because there are more people who walk, but there's also people who don't. When you go to downtown and there's stores you want to go in to look at clothes, but there's stairs and you can't get in. Yeah, stairs, they are a big problem everywhere. It's crazy, some places that you can't go. Heartbreaking. It makes me feel not included, like I'm someone just being okay. thrown out of. It shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be like that. If anyone else could go in there, I should be able to go in there too. I can come home. My independence is being taken away a lot. It's, it's because I have to get help for everything. If the accessibility was right, my dependence wouldn't be this bad. I don't think other people realize how much I have to think about. There's planning in everything, everything. When I have to go somewhere where I haven't been, if there's a handicapped toilet or if there's stairs, if I'm able to come in, all kinds of stuff I think about. I've, I feel discriminated when I'm outside, but, but with eyes, if it makes sense. You know, like the eyes, the people, how they look at you makes you feel like discriminated. You, you get emotional very much because you, you wasn't looked at like that before. I think a lot of people choose to stay inside because it's frightening. It, it was for me in the, in the beginning. It's frightening to be different. And when you have that feeling and you go out and people look at you, that's not a good uh, combination. I experience a lot. People are like, oh, it's so nice you came here and it's so nice you're, you are going out even though you're in a wheelchair. And I was like, why the fuck shouldn't I? I feel very just like confused about why I shouldn't go out or why it's not a normal thing, or people don't see it like a normal thing. It shouldn't be like that. People should look at it differently. Like, I'm just a normal human being sitting now. I uh, became disabled in 2020, and I was in a car accident. So we was on a highway and drove into a skilt, and the car just rolled, and I didn't think I was wearing a seatbelt. So I was the only one getting uh, disabled or paralyzed from the uh, chest down. After I became disabled, I was put in a wheelchair. I was at the hospital for a bit over a month. And I was, I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't want to do this. It was a whole new world for me. If I should describe how it is to a person that isn't in a wheelchair, I would say, um, it comes with uh, not yeah. just not using your legs, it's spasms, it's nerve pain, it's 
Um, it's hard to explain to someone who hasn't tried it. Emma's wish for more accessibility is exactly what Tours and Wheels is fighting for. Tours and Wheels is a cause that creates awareness of accessibility in Aarhus by letting people experience how it is getting around in a wheelchair. Tours and Wheels is very, very simple. We are taking people who are normally walking, uh, say, here is the chair. Sit down and uh, do the things you normally will do uh, walking now in a wheelchair. So people have a better understanding of how it is to be me. Aarhus is an old city. So of course there's a lot of buildings who are not accessible, but unfortunately they are also making uh, new buildings where you can think, ah, you can do better. The, the accessibilities in, in Aarhus are still so uh, bad that I need to plan uh, ahead, do a lot of research beforehand where to go because the many uh, cafes uh, and the uh, shops are not accessible for people in wheelchairs. Chisels is my little child. Actually, I think about it the, the whole time because every st step in my daily life is about chisels in some ways because just getting out of bed is a challenge for me. I need to get help for a lot of things. When I have to ask for help, I get tired and frustrated that I need to get help uh, a lot of time. And I don't feel as the same eye level as everybody else. I feel a lot of times uh, left out in the society because I don't feel that uh, the talk of the democracy includes me. I'm, I'm getting tired. Very, very tired that day. I'm not focused on it. So it's a job, it's a job for me to f get them focused on that. My work with Two Worlds uh, is making me proud because I know that we are doing something, trying to influence uh, politicians, uh, people who are working in the politics every day, uh, day in. That, that, that you are not doing something is making me angry and more determined to scream out that we need to do something trying to find a way to, to work for people who can see it needs to be changed. Well, I thought it was very eye-opening, to be honest. Uh, there are so many difficulties in the everyday life of a wheelchair user that you just don't notice at all uh, when you don't have a, a physical disability. So, uh, yeah, and it was very hard on my arms. <laughs> I think that the cobbles were extra hard. Uh, those are just impossible. I have no idea how people who use wheelchair daily uh, get around cobbles and also curbs. I think before this trip, I didn't realize how bad it actually was getting around. Uh, but now I feel uh, more enlightened on the area. The one thing that needs to change is the mindset on how to acknowledge people with disabilities. We need to change it. You're not living in the 1950s. We need to get that announcement that we can do something. That we are people like everybody else. And we want to live the same life as everybody else. So I would like that people with disabilities are getting a little bit of help. We are not the king of the world, but we want to be just be a, a part of the world. While Tours and Wheels aims to portray the lack of accessibility, Egmont Højskolen, a school that Emma attends, is designed with accessibility in mind. The Egmont Folk High School is universal designed. Everybody could climb on the wall or in the trees. Everybody could participate in sailing or in handcraft or art classes. So we have made a lot of adaptions so it will be possible for everybody to participate but also contribute. And it's important that this place exists because a lot of people get a new mindset which they will take with them for, for the rest of their life. School is all about connecting uh, dis disabled with doing whatever they want and trying new things and, you know, making everybody equal. That's what Egmont stands for, I would say.
I feel more relaxed here because I know there's accessibility and also the people that look weird at you, they don't do here. It's normal. All are welcome here. It has opened my eyes a lot being here, that I can just be myself and don't have to hide, maybe feeling sad one day or I don't feel discriminated at all. Being at Egmont makes me feel like I'm a part of something again. Like, it wasn't like that before, but it is like that when I'm here because everybody, you know, have some, some kind of disability and we can lean up on each other. Like, we know how each other feels. I think it's exciting, also to see if it's gonna work, I don't know, but now it's, uh, it's about building it, that's the challenge. Yeah. That's not stupid. That's not stupid. That's not stupid. That's not at all stupid. Det går ikke tilbage. Nej, det vil jeg ikke mene, det gjorde. Ikke tilbage. Ikke det. Det vil jeg simpelthen ikke tid til. Jeg skal nok bagefter, så vi har ikke tid til det. Kan jeg starte, eller hvad? Okay. Så er det ligesom på... Jeg har taget den på nu, så mange procent af varmen. Det var ikke 100. Måske på 60. Åh. Oh. Det er så sjovt at se, at mine ben bare hænger og dingler. Okay. Hvor langt er jeg oppe lige nu? Okay, jeg ser mig nu. Being out in the tree. Like that, swinging. It was, it was fun, and it was something I never thought I would be doing. I wasn't even doing something like that before, so it's very out of comfort zone. But I liked it very much. It was fun, and it was just like being free. I think that view on disabled is not, is not being looked at as much as it should. Uh, we are equal to other people. Um, why shouldn't we be? We are human too. We are all human. Um, so I think that it's crazy that in 2023 we don't uh, think about it as much at all. I'm positive on the future in, in, uh, in the ways of accessibility. I don't know if we ever will get okay, there no, no, no. where everything is accessible. But I think in, uh, in uh, 20 years we will have a quite different society. Changes will happen yeah. if enough no. people say, oh, remember. And it shouldn't only be the people with disability or the people using wheelchairs. It's nice to have other voices uh, explaining the same, uh, the same problems or the same possibilities if you just uh, switch your mindset a little bit. I would say that you should just look at people for people and like I said before it's not who I am it's just how I get around. You are something much greater than your body. I would say the solution get it more normalized. The government should take it up and normalize disabled and maybe get a little bit uh, like knowledge about what disabled are and what their challenges are and what the challenges make them feel because humans have feelings and you don't want to feel bad and if you can help another person not feeling bad you should do something about it <laughs>